Seventh grade math number 1.1a, adding integers with the same sign. What does that mean? It means adding a positive integer to a positive integer and a negative one to a negative one. We can use green counters to represent positive integers and red counters to represent negative integers. This positive one, green one right here, would be on the right side of the zero. See that? He's at one. And the red one is on the left side of the zero. He's a negative one. If we use these counters to add negative or positive integers together, we'll be able to see why we get our answer. Here's two positives. That's a positive 2 plus a positive 1 gives us a positive 3. And we don't write the plus sign in front of the positive integers. We just know when there's nothing there that it's a positive. But we do write a negative sign in front of negative integers. We write a minus. If we've got a negative 1 and we add negative 3 to it, we now have negative 4. We've got four red chips. And when we add two numbers with the same sign, we use the same sign as the add-ins. Remember, the add-ins are what we add together, and then that's the sum. So what, when we're adding two signs that are the same, then we use the sign of the add-ins. See? And this guy right here is in parentheses, so we don't get him confused with that plus sign right there. It helps our eyes to see that we're adding a negative. So remember that parentheses in algebra can mean that we need to multiply. See? If it's right up against it like that, so that means 2 times 4, which equals 8. So if you ever see a number right up against a parentheses like that, that means to multiply. We're not going to use x anymore to mean times table because that could be a variable x. Remember that a variable is a number that stands for a number we don't know what it is, so we put an x there to take its place of the unknown amount. So you're going to see a dot, like 2 times 3, or you're going to see it in parentheses like that, and that means multiply, okay? So let's take a look at these words. Absolute value means how far a number is from 0 on a number line. A negative 3 and a positive 3 are both 3 away from 0. So we don't put a sign inside of here. It's three away from zero, whether it's negative or positive. On either side of the number line, they're three away from zero. It's absolute value, three. An additive inverse is the opposite of a number, and they create a zero pair together. So if you have a plus four and we do a minus four, it makes a zero. Or if you have a plus five and a minus five, it makes a zero. That's an additive inverse. It gets rid of the one above it, see? An expression has numbers, variables, and signs like this, but there's no equal sign. That's an algebraic expression, okay? And an integer is any whole number, no fractions or decimals allowed at all. No fractions or decimals. And they're positive or negative, like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., or negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Those are integers. So look at it this way. Instead of having to say positive and negative whole numbers, that's a lot of words. All we say is integer. So it takes the place of those five words, positive and, ne positive and negative whole numbers, and shortens it to just integers so we can save our breath. Wasn't that nice? OK. So now let's take a look at this number line. This is a negative 5, and it's 5 away from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So its absolute value is 5, and we put the lines on each side to mean absolute value. Positive 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 away from 0. So its absolute value is 5. So the absolute value is how far a number is from 0, whether it's negative or positive. It's 5 spaces away from 0. That's its absolute value. So the absolute value of positive 6 is 6, of negative 2 is just a 2, of negative 199 is 199. And when you see them written inside the two bars like this, the two lines like this, it means absolute value, OK? So do you remember the commutative property of addition from last year? All right, well, it applies when we add two negative numbers. So I want you to think of it this way. When you commute to work or school, it's the way you're traveling to get there, right? You ever hear anyone say, oh, my commute was terrible, the traffic was really bad? Well, that's their ride to work and back, okay? So I want you to think of the commutative property that way. So 
you're going to your friend's house five miles and then from your friend's house to school three miles that's eight miles and when you come back from school you go to your friend's house that's three miles and then to your house it's five miles it's still eight miles so it didn't matter whether you were going to school or coming home the trip was still eight miles didn't matter which way you were going forwards or back it's the same so here's the commutative property when we're adding two negatives. We have negative five plus negative three is gonna equal negative eight. Well, now we can put the negative three in front and the negative five in the parentheses. See, we switched it around. It still equals negative eight. So that's the commutative property. It says it doesn't matter if you're commuting to school or home from school, it's still gonna be the same distance, okay? It's still gonna equal the same thing. All right, now let's take a look of what, at what adding two negatives looks like on a number line. If we're at negative 1, that means we're right here on the left of the 0. And if we add negative 4 to it, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to make a bigger negative number, negative 5. See? So look at it this way. What if we're standing in a 2-foot hole? We're 2 feet below ground, and ground level is 0. Okay, And we're standing in this 2-foot hole. And we're going to add another four foot hole to it, which means we're going to dig down another four feet, right? So where are we when we get to this point? Well, we're at negative six, see? Because we added a two foot hole and we added a four foot hole to it, and now we're at a negative six foot hole together, see? So negative two plus negative four is negative six, see that? You can even think of it as this is the water level and you're diving below the water, okay? So, negative three plus negative two is negative five. There's five red chips. Negative seven plus negative one is negative eight. There's eight red chips. Even big numbers like negative 50 plus negative 25 makes negative 75. Or negative 300 plus negative 29 equals negative 329. And it doesn't matter how many we add together. Negative eight plus negative five plus negative 40 makes negative 40, 53. And it doesn't matter how big they are or how far the numbers are from zero. Negative 1,200 plus negative 350 is negative 1,550. See? So it doesn't matter how many numbers there are and it doesn't matter how big the numbers are. The rules still apply, okay? So my next video is going to be 1.1b and we're gonna do some word problems with these, okay? I hope to see you there. Keep your chin up. This is not that bad, and you're going to get it, and you're going to be fine, okay? I'll see you next video.